attempt to leave the house right now, or my third attempt. First time, forgot a memory card. Second time, oh no, yeah. It was only twice. Twice. <laughs> Second time, um, well, let me explain what we're doing. We are gonna go to Ikea. Look who's with me on a Saturday. It's been like weird weather, like actual downpours of rain. So cricket got called off. So Ross is home with me for the day. So we're gonna go to Ikea because we want, there's a chair that we wanted to get for the room that we just painted. And we need to get a TV stand in there. So we need to look for one of those. And there's some lampshades and I wanna get some frames. It's like little bits and bobs really. Um, so yeah, that was my second attempt to leave the house because I know that we are missing one of our plates from our set of crockery. I couldn't remember what it was, so then I went back to check that. Cool story. I'm in the wrong lane. I have been feeling really weird, like especially this week. Um, the girls are watching me. <laughs> so after the boat trip last Thursday, I felt like I was on a boat for the next day. And then since then, basically, I felt dizzy. Um, complete self-diagnosis but from talking to various people and looking online I think I had vertigo so just like constant dizziness and like I'm still getting like little bouts of it but I do feel better but generally I just feel a bit poorly but it's a bit pathetic because I can't really describe I, I can't really put my finger on like what is wrong I just don't feel that well and I just don't feel right I don't know look at this weather you can't even hear me it's crazy out there It's so it crazy, there's like waterfalls running off all the buildings. Right, we've just got to Ikea. Literally, this way. Oh, was that like. No. I don't know if you can hear me. We just got to Ikea, but it says there's no spaces, so we're gonna have to go on a hunt for a space. There's no way I'm parking on the top level. <laughs> Ross just had to get the ticket and look how wet the car is just from opening the window to get the ticket out. <laughs> little cake pop in Ikea. I've got the lemon muffin and Ross has very little left. What was this? Darn cheese cake. See all our Ikea stuff in the back now. Are you happy with all of our purchases? Yeah. We finally have lampshades for every room in our house. Having lived there for like 18 months or longer, however long it is. I hope everything we bought is going to fit into the new setup in the little spare room. We will see. It might be tight, but I'm sure it'll look good. So it's still raining and we're on our way home. I've just brought all the stuff in from Ikea. This is everything that we got. But I think what I might do is properly show you what everything is when it's like made and up and like out of the packaging. Hello. Hello. Okay, so this evening I want to think more about how we're gonna do the gallery wall. So today in Ikea, we bought some frames finally and framed some of our wedding photos and a few like the prints I got for my birthday I've had them for such a long time and we just haven't done anything with them um but I want to really plan out the wall obviously I don't even know how I'm gonna fix the pictures up yet whether I'm gonna get like the little sticky hooks or put holes in the wall putting holes in the wall always makes me so scared so I'm like once you do that that's it um, so I think I might pop out to the range and get some like brown paper and some blue tack and cut out shapes the same size as the frames and kind of map it out on the wall. I was just gonna like lay it on the floor but I think it will make more sense to do it on the walls. So the camera battery is flashing. I think I might put this on charge, go out to the range and then you can see how I'm gonna map out my gallery wall. So I popped out and I was gonna get paper to cut to the size and yeah. map out the shape of everything on the wall. But then I thought, why don't I just blue tack the actual things onto the wall and then I'll be able to see like the right colors and stuff. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. So I just got some blue tack. Ross is gonna go crazy because we spent ages putting all of the photos in the new frames and we had to do it twice because I didn't realize there was like a protective film on the covering. And then I've just come home and taken them back out again. Um, so, I am gonna start blue tacking some prints and photos onto the wall and hopefully mapping it out to look like something good. <laughs> Thank you. 
weird to have like anything on the wall. It feels really like alien to me because, oh, hang on, I'm still zoomed in. Yeah, because we have not had anything on the walls like in this house at all or in our last house. So it feels really weird to like be thinking about putting things on the wall. But I like it. I think it, it's gonna add like a much needed character to our house. So this is what I've done. Let me come over here. So everything is just blue tacked up at the moment so I can kind of live with it, play around, move things around. As you've seen, I'm like already swapped some around. Um, and obviously they'll all be in frames and everything. This is just like a temporary, let's see if we like these prints. Um, let me get a bit closer so I can show you. So there's lots and lots of wedding ones. Obviously it's pretty obvious which are wedding ones. And I've got some art as well. And I just wanted to kind of mix up some different like pieces of art with our wedding photos. This is really cute, look, it says, don't forget to play. And this was um, our little dish that had our wedding rings in. Um, that's one of my birthday prints. I'm not gonna put all of my birthday prints up here. They're down there framed because I wanna put some up in the spare room. And this um, bit of tissue, obviously. As you would have seen, I tried <laughs> to put something more substantial up there but it kept falling down. So I put a bit of tissue paper up and that is just where I would put this print. This is the Central Park print, remember we got this from John Lewis. Um, I basically, I couldn't decide whether it's gonna look really odd to have like a big print as part of the gallery wall or if it needs to be like all similar sized prints. Uh, for a first shot at the gallery wall, I'm pretty happy actually. I just wanna live with it now and obviously see what Ross thinks as well. I feel like it's got quite a nice like color palette to it because it's mostly blues, obviously the wedding colour, blues, greys, and there's a bit of orange as well, which is like his cousin's dresses, but it's quite a nice little pop of colour on there. And um, the other alternative was to, if the New York, if the Central Park print wasn't to go there, was to have it on this wall behind me. I wanna put the moon clock that I got for my birthday up on this wall. So that could probably just go there, like by itself. <sighs> this is so exciting. I think Ross will like it as well. I've got some other prints as well that I want to put up in the kitchen, like foodie prints. Um, and I think I might put this in the kitchen as well. This is my anniversary present from Ross. I think I might put that up with the R. It's like, oh my God, it's so late. It's like half past nine on a Saturday night and I'm here like getting all creative. I'm, I'm really excited about it though. I can't wait. I, some of these pictures though, one of the, some of the ones that I got printed, I've had them, I don't know if I've had them printed in like random sizes. It's not that easy to find the right frame size. I'll show you something, a couple of the ones that I did frame up. So you would have seen these already. I got these all for my birthday. Um, this one, this one, and this one. But it's just these basic Ikea frames. I think they're like £1.50. So a bargain when you need to frame this many things. Oh, and I'm so excited. So do you remember when we also got this print? How good does it look framed? So this was when we got the big New York print, we got this one, but we just got the print and I got the frame. I think this frame is a bit more expensive for my kit. It was like seven pounds, I think, but it's like a deep frame. And I'm, I love it. I think with this, what we're gonna do, and I will show you, the little spare room tomorrow. So like I said, I will show you all of our Ikea stuff, but I'll show it when it's like up, like it's still a mess in here. So I think that print will look nice on the wall in this the little bedroom that we just painted. And then also to frame Ross's scratch off map and put that in there as well. This is cool. I'm about to watch Adele at Glastonbury and I'm so excited. I could think of nothing worse than actually being at Glastonbury in the mud and rain. I'm so excited to watch her perform. I really want to go and see her live, it'd be amazing. That was so good. She is such a legend. Like, she's just hilarious when she does her like talking bits. Like, she's just so funny and her voice is so good. I'm gonna go to bed now, so I'll see you in the morning. Hello guys, I can't say good morning because it's quarter past two. We've had a very productive morning though, haven't we? Yeah, we have, sorry. <laughs> oh God. As you can see, there is 
a lot of stuff in the back of our car. So this morning we have finished this little spare room and like put some furniture, some of our IKEA furniture up. So we'll show you all of that later. And then we came back and I dug up the front of our house. No, not the front of our house, but there's all these horrible, horrible, ugly plants that the builders, not the builders, I guess, like someone planted when our house was built. And they are honestly they were the ugliest plants ever the front of our house looked so scruffy so i dug that all out when we got back and that's what's in the back of the car now so it, there was actually like eight bags of rubbish that we need to get to the tip and we couldn't fit it all in the car anyway we're here now and this is the queue for the tip kind of goes up where that like white van is that's the entrance this... we've got so much stuff because we could just park there I know. Okay, no. We have accomplished a lot this weekend. We feel like we've done so much. We've been to IKEA. I've put up the pictures on the wall to test. Is that all they take to the tip? You know, we're queuing for that. This guy's just like got out of his car with like the tiniest little bag of rubbish. Why have they not just put that in, in the bin? bin? Yeah, put all the pictures up on the wall to see how that looks. Ross, what's your thoughts on the gallery wall? Oh, it's awesome. You really it looks like good, it, yeah. Really? So well, yeah, we're happy. I think we're happy with those pictures and everything. We just need to find a few more mm. frames, and then we can start putting them up you properly. Turn around, didn't you? Sorry, I, I keep interrupting your talking to the camera. Ross like muttering away about what people should be doing. Oh, off she goes. Oh, she listened to me. Yeah, I'm glad that Ross is happy with the gallery wall as well. So it just has a really nice character, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It just like starts to feel a bit more homey. Um, yeah, I'll show you upstairs when we get home. We just need to sit in this queue, get rid of all this crap out the back of our car and i'm gonna have a bath do my fake tan i am just about to start running my bath and i'm literally so excited to get in the bath i feel like oh like all gross from me out doing gardening and i just i've been looking forward to having this bath for a long time like scrubbing off my fake tan putting a new layer on and washing my hair and just getting a bit pampered so i just put a little bit of the um Soap and Glory, the Daily Soothe bath float into my bath for bubbles, and obviously it smells good. But then also a little bit of Joy Malone from my Granite Noir bath oil, because this is literally the best Joy Malone home scent ever. I might look ridiculous, but I feel so much fresher and clean and relaxed now. Can't wait to wash the tan off, but. I thought I would give you a little tour of all the things we got from Ikea yesterday. I promised this yesterday, so. Um, I've just kind of filmed all the clips and I'm going to talk you through it. I don't know the names of all of these Ikea things, but they're all on Ikea right now. So we've got this lampshade for our bedroom. It's kind of like you scrunch it up and it's a bit random. I guess it's probably not everyone's taste. Um, and I'm probably going to play with it forever until I get it exactly how I want it. But I just thought that this added a nice bit of character. Then in the hallway, we got this geometric lampshade. This is in black. And then we got the same kind of style but different shape for the little spare room. And the little spare room is now completely finished apart from putting a couple of bits of art on the wall. We have the bean bags. These are Big Bertha bean bags. And then we have this chair and footstool from Ikea. So with this seat you can completely choose what combination of colours you want. So we went with the black brown and then like the paler grey cushions. And to add a bit of texture I picked up a couple of blankets as well so we got the grey blanket and the navy blue blanket this is like a game slash movie room so i really wanted it to be cozy and i just like the texture that they add up here and they're the right colors and we also got this really simple tv stand which is just like a nine pound tv stand but it's perfect for what we need only thing is ikea didn't include all of the bits so i'm gonna have to go back and get a thing to put the shelf in which is annoying finally in the bigger of our two spare rooms i've finally got a lampshade so we've got lampshades all through the house now finally after like 18 months of living here this yellow lampshade which matches really well with the cushions that we have on the bed in here so that's everything that we got i hope you like it um i just feel like the upstairs of my house has come together now because we had kind of like spare rooms where we didn't really know what we were doing with the rooms like this room that I'm sat in right now was literally just empty completely empty up until putting all of this furniture in here it was just a room that we would sometimes put the um washing out in and now I feel like we'll actually use it we're gonna have like a movie night in here tonight which I'm excited about and it's just funny how putting things like lampshades up just makes the place feel more homey that's definitely kind of what we've achieved this weekend I think is 
helping our house feel more like a home which is what I've been saying that we need to do for a long long time yeah just a few touches really that I'm really really pleased with and all pretty like inexpensive as well from Ikea and I'm so pleased with the wall I love the painting up here it's so cool we are just about to have dinner and you would please to know I'm attempting some normal food I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to eat this I just made homemade fish burgers mine's a bit mashed up let me show you Ross's homemade fish burgers like homemade breaded them and everything um, I'm hoping it'll be nice and soft and I'll use like a small roll so hopefully I'll be able to break it up and manage to eat it. Dinner was a success! I had to cut everything up but I managed to eat it which is a good sign and Ross enjoyed it too, it's the first time I made it so he enjoyed it so it was a winner all round. My kitchen feels so cosy right now. First of all, because this is the weather we're dealing with right now. It looks really bright, but it's pouring rain. And I've got my candle lit. So this is my big Jo Malone pomegranate noir. Smells amazing. And I've got some really pretty flowers, which I got from work this week. So thank you for working on the event. And it just feels really like snug and cosy. Um, which is good because we're now going to head up and use the movie room for the first time. Ross has actually just popped out to go and get some snacks because I was like, can't use the movie room for the first time without snacks. So he's gone out to buy me some Milky Bar buttons and whatever he wants as well. So I need to go and choose what film we're going to go and watch. Right, we are in our new movie room. It's cozy, isn't it? It is, I it's like so it. so cool. I love it. And like, it's raining outside. You can hear the rain. It's all cozy indoors. I'm going to have one of these blankets. There's our little setup for the telly here. And then um, we are watching Dirty Grandpa, which is Zac Efron and what's his name? Robert De Niro. So that is our evening, and I'm going to end this week's vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we've done with our house. I'm literally so happy with the upstairs now. It's so, like, I just, every room makes me really happy. Mm. So that's the end of this week's vlog. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you subscribed, and I will see you next week. Right, that is me ready. I appreciate this has been a bit of a nothing vlog, but I just thought I would show you my makeup, basically. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hang on. Yeah, I went with the...